Hello, everyone. Hold up. Hold up. What? Que pasó? It's our 100th episode. 100 episodios? No. 100 episodios. Wow. Wow. No puedo creerlo. So thank you so much, friends. We appreciate you coming along on this journey with us. We were just thinking we have done 100 First Friday videos, a story and a song and activity. And we thank you so much for, for the passion that you have for the children and families that you work with, for sharing the stories with children. Muchas gracias a todos. Aquí estamos ya en nuestros 100 episodios. Gracias por compartir los videos y las actividades con los padres, con las familias y con ustedes proveedores. Estamos muy contentos de llegar a este punto. We are lifelong learners together. Let's keep on learning. Let's keep on loving what we yes. do because we have a lot to invest in the next generation of our children. But it's up to us. So thanks for partnering with us on our 100th video of First Fridays. Yay! Okay. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. And did more it. to come. Cue the video! Hello everyone. I have something to share with you. Are you ready? A story, a song, an activity. Grab a book, sing along. Welcome to the Crystal Stairs Resource Center. My name is Tandra. And I'm Miss Michelle. And today we are going to read a story that discusses a character's journey to starting something when she was scared, but having a trusted person that helped ignite that fire to start a passion. Oh, that sounds very interesting. Absolutely. So this story is called The Dot by Peter H. Reynolds. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, Now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment. Well, Maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a red dot, a purple dot, a yellow dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the yellow. She discovered that she could make a green dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot at all. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's mini dots made quite a splash. 
Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle and then she said, Please, sign it. <laughs> yes, this is good. I love that. Absolutely. So this was such an inspiring story. Trying to figure out where we start. And sometimes it can be a little bit scary yes. before we start something new. Have you ever been afraid to start something new, Miss Tundra? Yes, all the time. It's something that happens to all of us. Yes. Friends at home, have you ever been scared to start something new? Have you ever stopped yourself before you ever started? Talk with a friend, a family member, or a teacher, and come on back and let's talk some more. Welcome back friends. Thank you for taking some time to talk with someone about when it was difficult for you to start something new. I think when you asked me that question earlier, it reminds me that there are quite a few times where I'm afraid to try something new. But I love how in the story, the teacher says, just make your mark and see where it takes you. So, Ms. Michelle, I don't know if you noticed this, but I just wanted to share this with the friends. At the very back of the story, the author has a little dedication here, and it says, dedicated to Mr. Matson, my seventh grade math teacher who dared me to make my mark. That is so sweet. So I was wondering, do you have any teacher or anyone who, who encouraged you to make a mark? Absolutely. So my fourth grade teacher, Mr. Espinosa, who was also my softball coach, encouraged me to find my first true taste of leadership. But it couldn't have been possible without my first and very most important teacher of my life, my mom, Christine, who partnered with Mr. Espinosa to make sure that my leadership capability was able to shine and they continue to work with each other even through the rest of my elementary school career. That is so amazing. Yes, so I, I'm thinking now about my parents as well. And I also had two really great teachers that I want to say hello to. My first grade teacher, Mrs. Sammons, and then my third grade teacher, Mr. Gagan. I think it's very important when you have someone in your life who reminds you to try new things, even if they're big and scary. And so I, I think that's um, one of the things we wanted to share with this book today to all of our friends. Absolutely. Taking risks can be scary, but we should still do it scared. Yes. Wow, so thank you so much for this. Um, parents and caregivers, we're gonna continue this conversation on the learning activity video, and um, please join us over there. And friends, we thank you for joining us for this first Friday, and we hope to see you here again on the next first Friday. Bye. Bye.